close up. So lately I've been thinking about social media religious cults. And I want to say, I think there are social media cults popping up. And I want to talk about it. Now, I have not read anything about this in depth. I have not seen an academic article about it or anything like that. But I do know there are academic articles about cults in general and how to deprogram from them and so on and so forth. And I know there are echo chambers in social media land. That's just how social media works. You watch a video and YouTube is going to suggest a similar video. And then you watch that video and then YouTube is going to suggest another video and then you spiral down into this echo chamber. It can be within religion, it could be within politics, it could be regarding a social issue, so on and so forth. But when it comes to religion, I think it can become a little unhealthy. And I think this because an echo chamber prevents you from learning outside of your echo chamber. Now, you may think that an outside belief is something that you are learning about when it comes into your echo chamber, but that belief is usually just used as a sound board as part of the wall in the echo chamber that just bounces off your belief that you already have. In other words, you are defining your belief against that belief and making your beliefs in your echo chamber even stronger. And that's okay unless you are not truly giving that belief a true analysis. You are not truly looking at it from the position of where that belief is coming from. So why is that belief that belief? And in order to do that, you have to escape from your echo chamber, even if it's just to understand that belief. And that is called a free mind. The ability to suspend your beliefs, disregard your beliefs, don't think about your beliefs, and understand that belief that is not yours from the echo chamber that that belief is part of and understand it in the way that that person who believes different than you understands it. That is called having a free mind. And you learn that only when you're outside of echo chambers. And you learn that by going to college, going to a university, getting a higher education. I know. I'm an educator, so I have to go with that because that is what allows you to understand others. You can take entire courses in college about information that you don't even believe, but you learn about it. 
That's the beauty about having a free mind. That's the beauty about being educated. You understand others. You understand another person's belief in how they understand it. Not how you understand it. And that's important. So I've been thinking about that because I feel like these echo chambers. I cut on an AC. Are in a way becoming online cults. Social media religious cults. Where a group of social media people get together and they just hear each other's beliefs and they all believe the same and everyone is getting this gratification for saying what everyone in the group believes and they're getting a pat on the back and when that belief comes in and I've seen this online that is different than their beliefs it gets attacked but it's not debunked in the scholarly academic way it's attacked with fallacies and you know this if you go to college and you take a critical thinking class and you see people online debating like for example a Christian and a Muslim and they're using these fallacies and in the academic world they would get the red buzzer <laughs> fail so that belief comes into these echo chambers and it's used as a soundboard and it's attacked through the echo chamber that the person is sitting in and not understood through the echo chamber where that belief is coming from. And then when it's attacked and seemingly debunked, everyone is like, yay, we're the better echo chamber. Are you? Are you? And that seems to be evolving into social media religious cults. And that, in my opinion, can become dangerous. Where you get into this social media world and you are only hearing about your beliefs and getting patted on the back for your beliefs. That's not a free mind. That's not an educated mind. So the question is, are you in a social media echo chamber. Just think about that, are you? And that's okay, but it's not okay if it's developing into a cult. It's really not. But the question is, are you? That's the question. And I'm not saying don't watch certain videos. I'm not saying to do anything. I'm just saying think. And this is for Christians. This is for Muslims. This is for anyone. Atheists, this is for anyone. This is even for a person who is in an echo chamber or possibly in an echo chamber of a political ideology. Republican, Democrat. Or whatever. Are you learning outside of what you believe? Not to believe it, but to truly understand it from the others who believe differently than you. And to do that, you have to let go of your beliefs. Just keep them to the side for a while and then understand someone else and how they believe and why they believe. And what will happen is you will build that bridge of understanding. And this is important in interfaith 
Christian Muslim dialogue, building a bridge. You're not going to understand each other unless you cross over the bridge and understand from the other's perspective. So cross over the bridge, Muslim, and leave your beliefs on the other side of the bridge and just understand from a Christian's perspective. And then after, go back over the bridge and believe your beliefs again. The same for the Christian. Cross over the bridge, understand the Muslim from his or her perspective. Leave your Christian beliefs on the other side of the bridge. And then when it's done, cross over the bridge and believe your beliefs again. That's the bridge of understanding. And I don't think that is happening in the social media world. And I don't think it's happening because social media is designed that way to spin you down or spiral you down into an echo chamber where you're just hearing your own beliefs being bounced back to you. And then what happens is it seems like you end up becoming part of specific social media groups and everyone is patting each other on the back because they are hearing what they already believe. And then when that opposite belief comes in, everyone attacks it or some just watch the attacker attack it. And when it's attacked, it's attacked falsely because it's attacked through the lenses of the echo chamber that they're in. They're not truly attacked in a true academic way. And everyone's like, yay, we won. We won, we're better, you're wrong. We're right, yay. <laughs> That's not healthy. It's not healthy. Because that person has a belief that they believe based on a lot more than you realize. And you can only understand that if you cross over the bridge. And the same way goes the other way. It takes two to tango. Terrible saying. Not really. I guess it takes two to tango. I never tangled, but anyways, I just thought I would share that. I'm going to go walk. Just got back from lifting weights and I'm going to go walk, so peace and love.